Welcome back to my channel guys. Obviously you can see the background's different. Um so this is the second video of today. I might do one more after this. I'm still feeling a little bit of, you know, the the YouTube grinding and editing, you know, motivation you know, just to basically make a few videos. Um but no, um th this video is basically they did some changes to the game. Not not super big changes to the game. Just enough that you know you can definitely tell they're trying to pick it up because being honest with you global right now has not been the greatest J jp if you cannot tell by my last few videos have been popping off with some good content but um no if we go to notices real quick you got this you got this and this closed so the rating so the ranking rewards will be given out given out in japan standard time pretty soon here um, they got this new event, which I already grinded out. It's not, nothing really to go over for it. But, we got the Yuno you know, Zephyr, or the Zephyr Yuno, you know, um, in the game now. Which is up there with the Yuno you know, and Asta Anniversary Unit, which I had have pulled if you've not checked it out. Alright, go check some of the previous videos out. Um, but they released this new, new banner for him. It's the same amount of steps, you know, step 4 is free. Um, I'll do step one in this video, and that'll be it. But the event period to try to get him is from 2025-20 to 26-03. So, you've got about a, I don't want to say a month, but you've got a couple weeks to try to get him. So, that's, that's good. This is what he looks like here. He does go to, I think he goes to 7 star? Yeah, he can go to 7 star. I'm going to try to pull him just to get a 7 star character on global, that way my team will go up. But, um, his power is 1,745, his de he's a defender unit, his HP is 5,700, his attack is 1,005, his defense is 750, his special defense is 540, his wisdom is 540, and his luck is 250. His form type 1 is Dawn 2, and his form type 2 is Midnight Sun 2. Um, so for ability info, his first ability is for AA is Spirit of Zephyr. Um, its range is pretty good actually. Its effect is damage to four times of the enemies in range and high chance to inflict ability seal for a slightly long amount of time. Stronger damage ability and, or, and ability seal longer with formation match. So it's slightly long but higher with formation match which is always good. His AOM skill is keep it up if you can, which just gives AOM, AOM participants invincibility so they can't be attacked. Or if, like, if someone tries to attack them, it'll nullify it and won't won't work, but only for an extremely short amount of time. Which I'm sure if you get him to a 7 star, I'm sure it's safe in saying that it'll be better. For AB1, it's Holy Wind Blade, which is damage to large enemies in range, but raises own hate. And for extra, extra large to slightly long amount of time, so if anywhere from a large amount of time to a super small amount of time. Depends on the luck. Um, AB2 is Spirit Slice Dance, which is shields allies and gains immunity for excluding AA for two times the amount of damage, which is extremely good. AB3 is Double Spirit Storm, which damages large enemies in range and lowers special defense for a large to a short amount of time. Now his blade of light, which you can get, I think when he's at six star, um, is HP. It boosts your HP up by a thousand and attack up by four hundred. Defense doesn't give you any more defense, but it boosts your special defense by one seventy eight and boosts your wisdom by two ten. Um, character guide in his spirit of Zephyr form, Yuno know, boosts high attack stats despite being a powerful defender. When maxed out, his AB two. To sorry, to um, spirit slice dance grants himself damage immunity for two times the large levels and takes effects on on in place of allies for a long amount of time. Also, when race is seven star, you know, arcane art spirit of Zephyr deals four times the amount of damage to enemies in range and seals their abilities for a slightly long amount of time for a time at a high chance. Break your enemies can stop them from bouncing back. 
and this just shows you where you get them and what it looks like now this is okay so these are event bonus characters which are good because i have him i have him so i can get two times up and unless i pull him in this summon but let's do that real quick and then we'll get into the other thing they want to talk about in this video so let's let's do it real quick let's do a quick little summon real quick we're gonna do step one so let's go Let's a go, what are we gonna get? Knowing my luck, it could be something good, but it also might not be anything good. Alright, what are we gonna get? I swear to- I swear if we pull him, or it's- Cause there's not very many 5 star units I still need in the game. I mean, there are still a handful, but not that many. So I swear if we pull him, or it's just a fake out for getting- In the sense we get something else. Cause I'm not expecting anything good out of Global anymore. That's why I started playing more JP if you haven't noticed my last few videos. Okay, see, so yeah, I was not expecting anything good. Now, obviously, I'll still take it, because that means I can get him up to, uh, I think, 6-star. But, I was not expecting anything good there. Like, I can't use half of these anymore. On JP, I can, because I'm still trying to get my JP characters in them. So, now let's go over the last thing. And I'm not doing any jump cuts in this video. It's going to be all one edited and thrown into a, the intro, and then that'll be it. Um, so, the last thing... Wait, actually, let me see here... Yeah, oh, okay, we can do one multi real quick. Do we want to? Mm -hmm. No, I'll do it off camera. The last thing is if you did not notice, the whole background's different. And that's because there are some there are some bug fixes and some slight updates. Now, there's no notice in here, but when you update the game on the Google Play Store, for global at least, let me move my recording icon so I can click on it. Um, if you go in here, they have the home screen selection. Now, in JP, this has been in the game since, I think... I don't want to say released, but it's been there for quite some time. Now, with that being said, some of these events haven't been in the game yet. And some of them have. So the ones that haven't been in the game, like this one right here, or this one right here, they're not in the game yet. So this is just preluding the stuff that is going to happen in the game. Now, obviously I chose this one right here, but they're trying to match up JP a bit more. That's why they did the 7 star thing. I think they're going about it too fast and not giving enough time to summon or <laughs> enough stuff to summon. Now the other thing I noticed so far that I can that I'm able to seem to find is if you go to quests on JP, it'll take you to this menu right here, like on global. But now they moved it over to here and they put this here, which was before it was all just this. And you couldn't, I don't think you could preview your character either, which is all this screen. So now you got your two events here, which are really good. That's pretty much it though for this. There isn't really much else to go over for Global. Except for the fact you got different backgrounds and you know, I got this beautiful Noella. Because you know, I love Noella. If you can't tell. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.